Seems like Discount Box Set Open Season is continuing with Games Workshop, let's talk about these next two boarding patrols. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking over another couple of Games Workshop's Warhammer Discount Set offerings, breaking down these two new boxes and seeing what we get and how much they're likely to cost. These further reveals from Games Workshop are basically another iteration of these Boarding Patrol box sets that we've been seeing over the last week or two. These ones basically feel like mini combat patrols for Warhammer 40k, kind of similar to the old Stark collecting boxes. So far we've only had a few ones release, the Space Marine one at £65, €85 Euros or $110, but that was before the price rises were announced. Since then we've had some new ones like the one with Abaddon in it going for £75, €100 Euros or $125, so I'd guess that that's probably going to be the new price for them. Even with that higher price though, they still seem to be a relatively good discount compared with buying the miniatures separately. The Chaos Space Marine one still appears to be a 42% discount even compared with the old prices, which Games Workshop have already told us are going up at the start of March, and the Tyranid one was a 37% discount, again slightly better than the majority of their combat patrols. As with the others, it looks like these ones are going to be limited run offerings just for the Arcs of Omen campaign. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if you were looking to pick them up, it probably makes sense to do so sooner rather than later. It depends on how many of these Games Workshop decided to make, and whether or not they anticipated how many people might want. Today the Boarding Patrol offerings are for the Craft Worlds and the Drukhari, very Eldar themed this week I guess. As with these other announcements over on Warhammer Community, the release date hasn't yet been announced, I'd guess it to be sometime within the next month though. I wouldn't anticipate an enormous lead time on these. Let's get into the box sets though, and what's actually in them. First up we have the Eldari one, which has Jane Zar in it, 5 Howling Banshees, and then 20 of the Eldar Corsairs that you can either build as the Void Reavers or the Void Scarred. I think it's kind of interesting in the first place that they're putting a Kill Team kit in one of these discount box sets. Usually those ones tend to have been sold separately and at reasonably high prices. Looks like if you do want to get your hands on these miniatures, this set is going to be a much cheaper way to do so if you wanted good numbers of them. If you bought these miniatures separately from Games Workshop, before the price rise it will be £131 or $222, really quite a lot of money to be honest, the newer Eldar Sculpts do tend to be pretty expensive for the infantry models. It does mean that the opportunity to pick this one up is kind of interesting for £75 or $125 though. If this box is costed the same amount as the Chaos Space Marines and the Tyranids, it would equate to around about a 44% discount at least compared with if you bought these exact kits from Games Workshop individually. Overall, this is relatively impressive, it's a better discount than the majority of the Combat Patrol box sets, and it does actually get you a fair amount of points in the box here. It does vary really quite wildly, depending on whether or not you fill the Corsairs as the Void Scarred and the Void Reavers, and whether you pay for their upgrade characters or fancy guns and things, but just roughly it might equate to around about 530 points in the box. That's to be fielding one squad as Corsair Void Scarred and the other one as Void Reavers, maybe with adding in a couple of their fancy guns. As it goes for Eldar, this does look like it's perhaps one of the easiest ways to put points on the table for the money. It equates to 4.2 points per dollar. It's really quite good by Games Workshop standards, and it's particularly good for Eldar that do tend to be quite expensive. Whether or not Eldar players would actually want to pick up this box though, kind of depends on how much you want a whole bunch of Eldar Corsairs in the force. They're basically over half the value in the box, so if you didn't want to get these, then it's not really going to be the box for you. But if you did want to add a contingent of them to your army, it does seem like the best way to do so perhaps. Currently in game, I'd say that their rules aren't super strong to be honest. The troops version aren't terrible for their raw stats and they do get objective secured, but they don't fill mandatory troop slots, which means if you're using them outside of Arcs of Omen games, it can just make them a bit subpar when filling detachments and things compared with rangers. I'd say they perhaps are a bit more usable in Arcs of Omen though, a small cheap squad to camp home field objectives doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world. They've got the options of the carbines or the power swords, and can be configured to range or melee. The Elite's Choice version of them is kind of interesting as well, I feel like perhaps their character upgrades are a touch on the overcosted side, I'd say the most interesting one is probably the mini psychic within the unit. You could have that sat on a home field objective with a squad and just do their psychic power to farm out a command point each turn. It seems like a pretty reasonable proposition overall. It also could let your Farseers just focus on doing their actual decent casts as well, rather than having to farm command points themselves if you wanted that option. Otherwise, Jane Zar and the Howling Banshees are both reasonable enough in game. Really quite nice new models, uh, compared with a bunch of the other aspects in the Eldar range that still haven't been updated yet. 
Particularly the Howling Banshees do tend to be kind of top tier competitive. A lot of people like to run a popular x -Art combination with the two swords and piercing strikes, a whole load of damage to attacks coming in there. Overall, I'd rate this one as perhaps a bit of an odd mixed offering between the Aspect Warriors and the Corsairs. Just kind of feels like two very different subsets of a Craft World's army. And I guess the main appeal might be for Eldar players who want to add these units to their force and do so at a decent discount. I guess it doesn't really have any overlap with the Combat Patrol box set as well, so I suppose adding this to a Combat Patrol does get you decently started towards an Eldar army. Overall, a little unusual, you certainly need to like the Corsairs, but at least on paper it does have a fairly decent discount and gets you a decent amount of points on the board. Moving on to the second of the box sets, we have the Drukhari Boarding Patrol. This one again is a little bit on the focus side, a single character in the succubus leading two units of witches, 20 in total, and then a squad of five of the more heavily armoured Blades for Hire Incubi. It is kind of interesting with Games Workshop's pricing, you basically get the same amount of models here, but these miniatures in the box would cost you far far less individually if you were just to pick up the Witches and the Succubus as they're older kits that were charged at a much lower price point. The Witches only cost £24 in the UK versus the Corsair Void Scarred which would cost you £35 at the moment, quite a big difference. It does mean that the theoretical savings of this box are a bit lower. The kits individually would be £99 or US$163, US dollars. so again if it were priced the same as the Chaos or Nids boxes it would be around about a 25% discount, far far lower than the Craft World one. I guess that number might look a little bit better after the price rises, though it certainly doesn't really gain you much in actual terms if Games Workshop makes their own discounts look better by raising the prices of everything else. There are certainly fewer points in the box as well, this one adds up to around about 400 points rather than over 500. I guess you could push it a bit higher by fielding a unit of witches as those Hecatrix blood brides perhaps, they do cost a fair bit more I suppose. Still though, if you just field in the witches normally, it's slightly on the low side for these discount boxes, but still works out as 3.2 points per dollar, certainly not terrible by Games Workshop standards overall. Overall, again, this one's nice and focused. I think it's useful for Drukhari players if they do want to add a decent contingent of witches to their army, this would be a box set that you could quite easily do so. If you don't want any witches or you already have plenty, you can safely ignore it. I feel like it would combine rather nicely with the current combat patrol for new players wanting to start an army. That one's got Cabalite Warriors, plus Raiders, plus some Incubi. These would add your Witch Cult into the mix, plus some more Incubi, which are a fairly decent unit just in their own right. In game, I guess the witches got a little bit better recently due to getting a small points cut and Armour of Contempt going away. That's really helped their blades be a bit more general purpose against the field. The succubus can still be very, very scary with certain builds like precision blows and the triptych whip, and the incubi are just generally efficient elite infantry killers, particularly when backed up by Drazar. Overall, not a terrible box set. I could certainly see it being pretty useful if you did want to start a Drukhari army, but at least on the discount front, unless it releases at a lower price than some of the others, it is a little bit less impressive. Anyway, let me know what you think of the offerings for the Eldar. I would guess by the way that the first one is just simply called Eldari, we're probably not going to see one for Harlequins. Let me know what you think though, would you be tempted to pick up either of these, and why or why not? If you've enjoyed the video and you'd like to help keep up with Games Workshop's rules and releases, then feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics, we will generally keep the regular 40k videos coming just about every day. If you'd like to check out some more boarding patrols, I'll leave a link to one of my previous boarding patrol videos down in the video description. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that Allspets Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, and you can find that one linked in the video description below. Making all these videos does take a fair amount of time and effort, and if you are enjoying quite a bit, any support is enormously appreciated with keeping them coming. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some really big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you or you'd just like to help support, the link is in the video description below. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.